Chat, if you have not already heard, there's a lot of juice that's flowing around today. Um, if you gifted subs, subbed, resubbed, I, I apologize for not reading it out. Uh, I normally always do, but there's so much to talk about. Uh, I don't want to keep people waiting too, too long. But in the meantime, I saw that there was a trailer uploaded. Let's watch it. Let's go. A little care always helps. Don't give up. This is our fight to win. Being down just makes the comeback all the more exciting. Let's perk you up. You're blossoming. Lucky I was here, huh? My platform is here. <laughs> Hand board. Shall we do this together? Leave this to me. Life unbridled. Spend every moment growing into who you truly are. Can I ask you a question, chat? <clears throat> and I, I hate to steal it from him, but we all kind of agreed. Can you look at this, chat, and tell me that he doesn't look like a Valorant char character? <laughs> I was talking to Seagull last night, and uh, Shade too, and that was the first thing he goes, wait, why does it look like a Valorant character? <laughs> Valorant character? We were fucking losing it. <laughs> Absolutely fucking losing it. It was so funny. Ooh, the origin story. All right, Pog. A perfect world is a perfect prison. They taught us uniformity is strength, like links in a chain. That there was a formula for success that we all must follow. But <laughs> I've never been much of a follower. So I stepped away beyond their lifeless gardens into the wild, wider world to explore it's infinite beauty. And I learned that our home needs help. Each step has led me closer to understanding how passion and calculation, failure and resilience Science and life, all brought together, can lead us to something honest, vital, true. <laughs> Perfection is overrated. Our strength lies in our differences, in our compassion, our willingness to grow. brought nature and technology together to create a new possibility and I will heal our world. Chat, I know you're all down bad for him, but let's relax, relax. I know y'all are, are starving, but like, shh, it's okay. 
It's okay. Just remember, he looks like a Valorant character, so if you like him, that means you like Valorant, Valorant characters. Anyways, um, next uh, is nine minutes, and we don't have to watch the Twitter version, Pog. I'm Gavin Jurgens Fury, lead narrative designer for the Overwatch team, and I'm here to explore the past of our newest hero, Lifeweaver. Hi, I'm Kenny Hudson, hero producer for the Overwatch team, and I'm here to talk to you about Lifeweaver's gameplay kit. Hi everybody, my name is Daryl Tan, and I'm the lead character concept artist on the Overwatch team. Hi, I'm Taki, I'm a senior character technical artist on the Overwatch team, and for our Thai audience out there, so I have ผมเป็นซีเนียร์แคร็คเตอร์เทคนิคอลอาร์ติสต์ของทีมโอวัชวันนี้เราจะมาทำความรู้จักกับนิรันหรือไลฟ์ฟีเวอร์ของเรานั
He grew up going to What was that little look? Did you see that? He like laughs and then he like looks at you and then he looks away and then he looks at you like that. Who, who did that? Who, who did that? So he laughs. He's confident. Brilliant. And he like snaps. Warm. And then he s comes back. And witty. And then he snaps back again. And it's like. Yo, the, the Rizzler. Hey, yo, hey, I, 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 I'm, I am, I'm lost in this territory. So you guys, you guys will know better than me. But I guess that's what it is. He grew up going to botanical festivals and wandering his compound's vast garden, mending plants alongside Riz his family's gardeners. <laughs> Soon, that vast garden would be too small for him. His parents, desperate to instill order in their middle child sent him to the prestigious Vishkar Architect Academy, where he met Satya Vaswani, otherwise known as Symmetra. As he grew older, during breaks at school, he used his parents' wealth to travel. In those journeys, he was struck by the turmoil. Wait, he's a rich pretty boy. Nah, that nah, that's no fair. You don't get to have everything. This is this is a this is just a prime example chat that some people just get everything and some people get well that existed all around the world. People needed help. Illness, injury, and many other ailments riddled communities with pain. A pain Nirund grew determined to fix. Using this original design and his fascination with botany. He created something new. While hard light made inanimate material, Lifeweaver's new and unstable invention, called Biolite, created organic material that could heal terrible wounds in the blink of an eye. He held Vishkar and its rigorous structures in great contempt. Lifeweaver wanted to provide Biolite freely to the world. Vishkar quickly took issue. Arguing that by discovering this technology with Vishkar property on Vishkar's time, it belonged to the company. Oh my god, it's got corporate America lore? Oh my... It's literally got corpa pharmaceutical America lore! I was kind of annoyed that he was a, like a rich pretty boy, but he also fights capitalism? Dude... It's like they it's like they made Hassan Piker a, a character in Overwatch, kinda. I don't know. <laughs> Lifeweaver refused and fled the academy with his primitive technology, hunted by Vishkar's <laughs> lawyers and unofficially other more dangerous forces. We aimed for players to feel comfortable and supported around him, to feel included in the circle he's creating, and learning how he sees the world. We're also excited because he's an openly pansexual character, and you'll see this reflected in his voice lines, conversations, and other content. Aha. Uh -huh. Nah, he's got everything. This is bullshit. <laughs> You're better off with me. Lifeweaver is a support hero that focuses on ranged healing with a playstyle that most closely matches that of a main healer. Lifeweaver has an alternate weapon similar to Mercy and Torbjorn, so he technically has two primary fires. The most important being Healing Blossom, which is a biolite flower. That's interesting that they use the word main healer. So there's two there's two sets of concepts in Overwatch, if you don't know. There's main support, flex support, which is what competitive slash Overwatch League uses to group heroes. It's like into hero pools. Basically, that's like main healing. Main, main support is like Lucio, Mercy, Brig. Basically, the less mechanically in less, less mechanical heroes so they can be more verbal, vocal, alt track, stuff like that. And then flex support, which is more the mechanical skill based supports, like your Ana, Zen, um, Bap, technically Moira as well, because you don't want your Lucio player swapping off their main role. So technically Moira goes over on the flex side too. But then there's the other side of the concept, which is main healer and off healer. Main heals are the big chunking heals. So like your Ana, Bap, Moira, um, on about Moira, I'm probably missing one off the top of my head. I don't know why. And then Mercy technically used to be, but isn't anymore. Kiriko, Kiriko. Um, Mercy used to be technically, although I don't really consider her anymore. And then you have off healers, which are like your Zen, Brig, Lucio, Mercy. Um, it's, that has to do with like their healing outputs. You know, like you trade large healing amount of outputs for like utility type of deal. 
So it's interesting that they called him a main healer because I would argue he's off. I would argue he's an off healer because his healing numbers are so low. So, so he technically has two. So I wonder at what they classified as because, yeah, I I just think that their classification is, and no offense, wrong. So he technically has two primary fires. The most important being Healing Blossom, which is a biolite flower bud held in his right palm. Holding primary fire will rapidly bloom the bud, increasing the amount of healing it can provide. Releasing primary fire will send the blossom to the targeted hero. His alternate primary fire is called Thorn Volley and is available after swapping to the alternate weapon, mostly as a means of emergency self-defense. When Lifeweaver switches to this weapon, his right forearm rotates to reveal biolite thorns that he's then able to fire rapidly from his palm. Do you notice though, by the way, it's healing is the rose, the thorns of the rose is the damage. I thought that concept was really cool. The scattered pattern. Secondary fire is an interesting ability called Petal Platform. When used, Lifeweaver throws a pod that blooms into a flower-shaped platform upon landing. This platform is pressure sensitive and will lift into the air when an ally or enemy steps on it. Once lifted, the platform will stay airborne for a short time before fizzling out. A well-timed jump at the apex of the platform's ascent will result in greater height. The first ability is called Rejuvenating Dash. When used, Lifeweaver instantly dashes in his traveling direction while also lightly healing himself, allowing him to react to dangerous situations or simply to get to places faster. Combining this with Pedal Platform can result in covering much larger distances. Rejuvenating Dash is also able to be used while charging Healing Blossom. His secondary ability is very unique. It's called Life Grip, and it envelops the targeted ally in a protective shield of Biolite before then pulling them to the cast position. His ultimate is called Tree of Life. When activated, Lifeweaver enters a targeting mode, allowing him to place and grow a large tree that pulses with healing energy. The initial placement of the tree heals a substantial amount, followed by continued pulses of lesser healing. Tree of Life also provides cover for your team, acting as a blocker for the movement and attacks of all players. There are a few unique abilities here that stretched our imaginations during development. Life Grip giving players the ability to save allies by shielding and pulling them is something that can lead to some very heroic moments in team fights and can also pair with some ultimates very well. Tree of Life being able to turn team fights around by providing cover and healing for your team is something that the team worked very hard on getting right, both in function and in looks. I can't wait for players to find new ways to combo Life Weaver's abilities with their teammates. It should lead to very exciting gameplay moments. Life protects life. Overwatch has always been about imagining the bright and optimistic future, and few heroes exemplify this more than Life Weaver. We are so excited for players to meet him, to learn how he sees the world, and see all the work the team has put into bringing him to life. And we can't wait to share more. I've never been more ready for adventure. Damn, dude, that that was okay. That was actually an, that was an awesome video. Let me tell you. Um, but I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it kind of. I kind of just realized how insane it's going to be. How insane it's going to be when you can pull things like Farah out of Barrage. <laughs> like both good and bad. You know, like you could make plays with it, but if you're the Farah player and you're not expecting it and you go, Justice Rares! And just get yoinked away and then you're looking at the ground and then you get pulled and you hit the ground and you just blow up and like, oh no, oh no. You know?